Susan, all of this came as a total surprise. No one expected that the prosecutor would act as quickly as she did. There were celebrations in the streets of Baltimore only moments after the state prosecutor had stunned the city go, by announcing criminal charges against six police officers. Marilyn Mosby acted as soon as she had evidence. The findings of our comprehensive, thorough, and independent investigation, coupled with the medical examiner's determination that Mr. Gray's death was a homicide, which we received today, has led us to believe that we have probable cause to file criminal charges. The charges are serious, involuntary manslaughter, assault, false imprisonment, and this. Officer Caesar Goodson is being charged with second degree depraved heart murder. Depraved heart murder is a crime committed with callous indifference to human life. Freddie Gray was arrested on a Saturday morning nearly three weeks ago. Police said he had an illegal switchblade. Exactly the officers dragged him into the rear of their van. Gray was handcuffed but not buckled up as the van drove around on a convoluted route to the precinct, stopping four times. There are suggestions it may have been what some police call the nickel ride, where a vehicle is driven erratically so that unsecured passengers are deliberately tossed about and injured. Within about 45 minutes of his arrest, Gray was unconscious and on his way to hospital. He fell into a coma and died seven days later without ever regaining consciousness. His spinal cord almost completely severed at the neck. I've spoken with Commissioner Batts, I've spoken with the mayor, I've spoken with the governor. Mosby also said today that Gray had not had a switchblade as police claimed, just a pocket knife, perfectly legal. Accordingly, Lieutenant Rice, Officer Miller, and Officer Nero illegally arrested Mr. Gray. She wrapped up with this message to those who've been protesting since Gray's death. You're at the forefront of this cause. And as young people, our time is now. Baltimore's Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake finally could tell people that the wheels of justice were turning. There will be justice for Mr. Gray, there will be justice for his family, and there will be justice for the people of Baltimore. Thank you. Mayor, Mayor, Mayor. And Gray's family seemed to agree with that. These charges are an important step in getting justice for Freddie. Good afternoon. The Baltimore Police Union had a different view. In my 20 years uh, career as a law enforcement officer and 16 years as an attorney, I have never seen such a hurried rush to file criminal charges, which I believe are driven by forces which are separate and apart from the application of law and the facts of this case as we know them. The police union says the police did nothing wrong, that they didn't injure Freddie Gray and that they are very sad that he's dead. Susan. Keith, we can hear honking in the background. What is the mood on the streets there tonight? Well, it's a little bit more tense than it was this afternoon when people were actually quite celebratory. But uh, there doesn't fe feel like there is any sense of a confrontation here. You can't see them, but there's a line of about a dozen police officers right to my left here, and they are in their riot gear, but they're not wearing their helmets. And I can see that their shields are lined up against the wall of the CVS that was burned down the other night. Now, we've seen some helicopters floating around as well. They are keeping an eye on things, but they seem to be trying very hard to just let people enjoy their celebration, make sure nothing gets out of hand, and above all, let's not force a confrontation that isn't necessary. Right, so what more do we know about the officers who are charged? Well, we actually have pictures of them now, Susan. They were released earlier tonight. I think we can take a look at them now. You can see them there. There are six of them. Three of them are black, three of them are white, and one of them is a woman. I want to isolate just one of them. He is the oldest of all of them, and he is the man, the officer, who was driving the van on the morning that Freddie Gray was arrested, and he is the one who has been charged with second-degree murder. Now, we've told, we're have told we told they've all been granted bail between $250,000 for three of them and $350,000 for the other three, and that late uh, this evening, they were all able to post that bail as well. Mm -hmm. Susan. Okay, thanks, Keith.